Well, today I've got a kind of a fun unboxing uh, of a book. This is the Star Wars, the Star Wars Deluxe Edition, based on George Lucas's original screenplay, a uh, really, really early screenplay for Star Wars. And uh, this was published by Dark Horse Comics over the last two years. So this is the Deluxe Hardbound Collected Box Edition. So let's zoom out a little bit and you can see the whole of the box. And then some hands to give you a little bit of uh, perspective. So, uh, it's not really sealed, but I haven't really opened it. The, uh, this is the box that came inside of the uh, shipping packaging. And already we're seeing some foil glint here. Some nice looking uh, production value here. Get the box out of the way. And... Uh, sharp-eyed enough you spotted my Hawaiian shirt in the reflection. Uh, not intentional. So, the Star Wars. And we've got uh, the backing. Also gold foil. And the advertisement in the uh, shrink wrap. So expect to look exactly like that. Should we stop here? No. We'll go on. Now, let's see. The fun part. Let's break the shrink wrap. Oh no, it's no longer mint. Yeah. This is going to sit on a shelf for people to look at. It's not. Although it's, uh, it's kind of interesting because when you think about it, this would be the first rendition, not necessarily first appearance I guess, the first rendition of the Star Wars characters. Many of them have changed quite a bit, or most of them have changed quite a bit in the uh, in the story, and I've read through about half of the, the comics that this is based on, I knew I was going to buy this, so I just held off on the rest so I can read it in this set. Now we've got a clamshell box here, so Oh, so I lift it open. Ooh, that looks so nice. I love ribbons. Don't you love ribbons? This is just, this is no doubt just a ribbon to help you open, pull things out. Not necessarily keep your place. Like, I'm in this book right now. <laughs> just in case I might lose my place there. But we've got, uh, we have two, three books in the set. This is the book of cover portfolios. Wow. It's shiny. They can't, do they, are they sleeved? No. But that's definitely behind some plastic there. Very, very nice. The way this is put together. So that's the cover portfolios. And then we've got the official guide to a different galaxy. Some kind of familiar, but uh, C3PO looks a lot more like the inspiration from Metropolis in that picture. That's the end piece. So you get sketches and kind of early stuff, some page layouts. That's nice. That's the thinnest volume of the bunch. The guide to the official got to a different galaxy. And then this would be the collected issues based on the original rough draft screenplay by George Lucas. Where all the uh, all the um, characters are kind of fleshed out a little bit. Looks a little like George right there, doesn't he? Let's go zoom in on that. Yeah, that, that looks a lot like George Lucas right now. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, I remember reading uh, Jim Steranko's comic scene. I think it was still comic scene at that time where they were announcing Star Wars with Luke Starkiller as the uh, the main character. Wow. This is this is very sweet. Very nice. Very, very nice paper. Highly coated stock. This is better than the uh, the stock that most magazines use for their covers these days. Wow. Yeah. 
this is this is rather rather cool so that was it kind of short and sweet I don't think I missed anything hi ribbon yeah um, but here we have it's a it's a double hinged clamshell backing closes down really nicely can you hear the, the whoosh it's not quite a corduroy on corduroy sound but um, of the Star Wars and that is going to look really nice on the shelf and it's going to provide quite a bit of nice reading. So I hope you enjoyed that.